my name is Jonathan Eduardo Sanchez Sanchez, and I'm a 16 years boy that has cystic fibrosis, a disease that affects primarily the lungs. Also, it affects the uh, digestive system and my pancreas. On the, year, on the year 2016, we came to the USA legally with our tourist visas to search for a better cystic fibrosis treatment for me. When I go for the first time to Boston Children's Hospital in Massachusetts, they made me a pulmonary function test, and the results told me that I had only 40 through 42% of my pulmonary function test. The doctors of Boston Children's Hospital told my parents that I came to the USA literally dying. After the first visit, they sent me home with some of the CF medication that I should took and that I wasn't able to get on my country. The first time I started to get on the treatment, I got pretty tired because I wasn't used to it. The doctors, after they made me another pulmonary function test, this time it gave the answer of 60 through 69% on my pulmonary function test. Right now my baseline is 90 through 97. The day all lawyers told us that the medical deferred action program was canceled, I started crying and telling my mom, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. If I go back to Honduras, I will die. I feel disappointed with the USA government that they canceled this program. <coughs> On my point of view, thinking that deporting sick kids like me, it will be a legal homicide because in our countries doesn't exist any type of treatment. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez.